What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. Today we're opening 24 first edition Cyberdark Impact Packs. This is going to be pretty fun, but before that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have some original foils. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from Cyberdark Impact. Also, I want to remind you guys, on Saturday, we're opening up this 24-pack hobby box of the Lost Millennium Potential Ancient Gear Golem ultimate rare we could have the flame wingman we could have the thunder giant some crazy stuff like that so if you're interested in that make sure you guys show up 12 p.m central on saturday it's going to be awesome these 24 packs were sent to us by the same guy who sent us 24 rise of destiny the other day go check that vid that video out it's pretty awesome we got a really good pull in there so let's see if we can pull these are probably going to be retail packs which if you don't know hobby retail i'll link that up above and that means we're probably okay instant vision good start Looking for the Vanity's Ruler. That's probably the best ultimate rare we can get out of here. We got a Man Beast of Ares, Acclaimed Fortune, Barry Statue of the Inferno, Flash of the Forbidden Spell. So anything that's normally a rare can be an ultimate rare in. Okay. Storm Winds, I think, is a good one. I think it's like a $3 card, unless it's changed. But uh, yeah, anything that's normally a rare can be an ultimate rare, assuming these are North American retail packs, which is what I believe they are. Because that's what his Rise of Destiny packs were as well. I think he got them from the same seller. Okay, straight flush. These are loose packs as well. So last time we actually got one above ratio, so that's pretty good. Oh, instant fusion, good. Let's set that aside. Man Beast of Aries. Dark Lucius level six. So that would actually be a cool ulti, I think. That's a cool looking card. I don't think it's that great. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Out your nose? That's kind of messed up. Oh, Stormwinds, another good one. I think that's like a $3 card. I know those barrier statues, a couple of them are very valuable. I think it's Stormwinds that's the best one. So anytime we get that, it's good. Instant Fusion has gone way down. Oh, look, of course we're pulling them like crazy. We got another one. Three already, but it's gone down, but it, it used to be very valuable. I think it's like limited to one. So if it comes back to three, it'll probably be worth back to like a dollar like it used to be. Maybe it's varies. Straight Flush. Straight is these are These cards are trying to pull off. So we do have a super rare, Cyber Dragon Gardener. Very cool looking card. Super rare Cyber Dragon Garden of the first foil of the opening. Okay, Blast is mowed in. We've got uh, Counter Cleaner again. The nose guy. All right. Cyber Dark Impact has a lot, for a long time been called like the worst set of all time. But it actually does have some pretty big value cards in it. And it's getting old. So it's getting more collectible by the second. So it's kind of recovering. It's taken a long time to become a little bit valuable. But... It's finally happening. There's a barrier statue of the heavens. Oh, an ultimate rare degenerate circuit. I don't think this is the one you want. <laughs> it does look really cool though. Check this out. That looks beautiful. Just check out that color. Yeah, I really like the look of that. So I don't think it's too valuable, but definitely looks really good. Okay. All right, and alien infiltrator. We finally didn't get an instant fusion there. All right, next pack. Cyberdark Impact. Speaking of this, you may see a hobby opening of this soon. Um, the hobby means we can get the big boys. We can get the Cyberdark Dragon. So I have pulled that before in a video. It was crazy. Stray's Modian. Cyber Esper is super rare. Yeah, that was probably one of my best pulls ever. Because that card is extremely expensive. I haven't told... Um, or I told you guys in the last Top 25 video. If you guys didn't see my Top 25 Most Valuable Cards, you can check that out. Um... But I, I mentioned I hadn't had an offer on it in a long time. And then after I said that, I got two offers on it. So it's well over $5,000, I think. So it's, it's pretty expensive. There's a barrier statue, statue of the drought. Ritual Foregone. Combo Fighter. Flame Ogre. That's kind of a cool card. 2400 Black Horn of Heaven. That's a nice ulti. That's a nice ulti. I don't think it's too expensive. But definitely a good one. I think it's worth like maybe like 10 bucks in ulti. Which is not great, but also was, it used to be really good, I think. I think it's not as good anymore. Ritual Foregone. We got a combo fighter. Flame Ogre. Vanity's Call. Rampaging Rhinos. Okay, Dark Lucius level 4 is a common. Okay. Okay, we're not too far into this. There's still a ton of packs left. All right. Next pack, we got a combo fighter. Can we get the Cyber Dark Dragon Ultra Rare? That'd be cool. Vanity's Call. Cyber Ogre. Vanity's Ruler. That's a good rare. 
Snipe Hunter. For a while, these were like $8. I, don't, I think they finally came down because of dual overload. They reprinted this as a as an ultra rare. So the value of it went down a lot. But I think it's kind of rebounded a little bit. Still worth a little bit as a rare. So worth setting aside. Another drought. We haven't seen Storm Winds in a while. We started off hot with those. Combo Fighter. Flame Ogre. Miraculous Rebirth. Abaki. Wow. Bruh. Wow. That guy is creepy. Dark Lucius level 4 and level down. Okay, we're we're only like 9 packs into this opening. I feel like we've opened a ton so far. There's only 24 total, so we're basically opening a booster box here. Another barrier statue here. Justy Break. Another another one? Is that the same one? No, Abyss and Drought. Okay. Ritual Forgot. Iris the Earth Mother. Okay. Nice. Abaki. Not the droids we're looking for there. There is a Inferno. I think that one of the other ones is worth like a dollar. It might be Inferno. Abyss. Justy Break. Allure Queen level 7. So we did get an Ultra Rare. This is a pretty decent one. I think it's worth like over $10. I might be wrong about that, but I think it is. Might not have been reprinted. Maybe that's why. Ultra Rare Allure Queen level 7. So a nice Ultra Rare. Wow. And a Storm Winds in the same pack. Talk about a good pack. Wow. That was a good pack. So far, he's he bought some really good lots. He's bought some really good lots. We got one ulti. Hopefully, we can get something crazy in the ultis. Like a Vanity's Fiend, a Vanity's Ruler. Those are both good. Fortune. Inferno. Chain Strike. Allure Queen level 5 Ultimate Rare. That's definitely a good one. I don't think the price is too crazy, but it's one of the better ones for sure. Wow, check that out. That's huge. That's awesome. Two ultimate rares already, so we got the level seven and storm winds. You've got to be kidding me. This is a great opening. Oh my! And a torrent. We're only halfway through. So the last two packs we've had, two two storm winds commons, and a learn queen level seven and level five, and one of them is an ulti. That is crazy. And yeah, as I've mentioned before, GX ultra rares are actually twice as hard to pull as ultimate rares in terms of general any ulti or any ultra. So it's one in twenty four for an ultra. So that's. Pretty, pretty awesome. Combo Fighter. Flame Ogre. Vandy's Call. Oh, went straight to it. Miraculous Rebirth. Are we going to get nothing in this half? That's what I'm wondering. Snipe Hunter's in here as well. Because this is ridiculous. These pulls are fire. These were completely loose, though, so we could pull another ulti. I don't know where these came from. They could have been from a box. They could have not been. They could have been from a huge, like, one of those 240-pack boxes. Chain Strike. Abyss. Iris the Earth Mother. Okay. And Snipe Hunter. So far, he is balling out. That's all I can say. He's doing well. All right. Barry Statue of the Abyss. Jesse Breaker. Drought. Ritual Foregone. Blasting Fuse. Okay, just a rare. Just a rare, just a rare. We've all, we pulled almost like ratio hollows in the first half. Two ulties and ultra few supers like two or three it was like three supers were like one away straight as modian instant fusion first the first time since the first like three packs trojan blast there's another super rare and a torrent wow what these packs are fire these packs are really good trojan blast is cheap but i mean it's a super rare so what are we complaining about here all right that is some dinged corners right there. That is unfortunate. Oh, good thing it's just a common. Inferno. Chain Strike. Lightning Punisher. That's a really cool ulti. I actually graded one of those PSA 10 and uh, another counter leader. Oh, Storm Winds. Thank you very much. That is good. We will take that all day. That's money back right there. Here we go. Straight Flush. Straight Asmodee. Instant Fusion. Nice. Man Beast of Aries. Vanity's Fiend. First time we've seen that. It's a good one. Counter Cleaner again. Barry Statue of the Storm Winds. We will take that all day. All day. We are taking those. How many is that? That's like six of them. That's crazy. And if they're actually $3 cards, $4 cards, that's like $20 plus. Dollars. $18 to $24 right there. Barry Statue of the Heavens. That's a couple packs back. That's awesome. Asmodian. Instant Fusion again. 
Combo Master. All right, just a regular old Combo Master. Alien Infiltration. We have, what's that, five packs? Something like five packs left. Believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. We've got El Ogre. Van Nees Call. Cyber Ogre. Barry Statue of the Heavens. Alert Queen Level 5. There's the regular rare. Okay. Alien Infiltrator. Yep, now four. Okay, four packs left. So far, only one foil on this side, but crazy amount of um, rares and or good commons, I should say. Yeah, I figured because we pulled like ratio on the first half that it was going to slow down. Cyber Ogre. Typhoon. Degenerate Circuit. There's the rare version. So we've pulled the rare and the ultimate of both of our ultis. Here we go. Three more packs. Believe. Can we break the uh, break the ratio? Drought. Ritual Foregone. Oh. Alert Queen level 5. Okay. Alien Mars. Two more packaroons. Let's do this. Let's pull something amazing. We've already kind of done that. <laughs> Chain Strike. Awesome. Abyss. Jesse Breaker. Uh oh. Drought. Another Degenerate Circuit. That's a little bit weird, but okay. And we're on to the final pack. So go ahead and thank the viewer in the comments. Say, we appreciate you letting us open this because this was awesome. We got to see some really good pulls. He sent in 48 total packs, including those Rise of Destiny. So he gave it for some good free content. You guys know how we love that. That's awesome. Final pack. Here we go. Accumulated Fortune. Let's see what we can get. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Chain Strike. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. Dimensional Inversion. Okay. All right. Okay. Not the best second half, but the first half was amazing. So let's go over what we did get. All right. For the 24 packs, we got one, two, three, four, five, six infusions. Look how the different printing is. Look at this. There's like different color greens. That's interesting. Six infusions. One, two, three, four, five, six storm winds. So that's really good. Then for the foils or the rares and the foils, we got two, one of each vanity. We got Super Rare, Cyber Shadow Garna, Trojan Blast, Cyber Esper, and then, okay, so we only got three supers. So we actually went under that time, but we did get two ultis, Alert Queen Level 5 and Degenerate Circuit. That's awesome. And an Ultra Alert Queen Level 7. So really good overall. Pretty awesome pulls. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it. And don't forget about that hobby box opening on Saturday of the Lost Millennium. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh.